Neymar has destroyed the transfer market and enabled Liverpool to become one of the best teams around. His world record move to PSG was crazy enough in its own right, but the knock-on effects of the transfer have ruined the transfer market. Here's how. It all stems back to Barcelona setting the mandatory release clause in Neymar's contract at 222 million euros. Enough to put off any rational sporting directors, you might think. But PSG are not a rational club and decided to trigger it in 2017, sending Barcelona and the rest of the market into a spiral. The first of many domino effects in this transfer can be seen in every contract renewal in Spain, with 1 billion euro release clauses very common among the big three teams. The more significant consequence came as a result of all that cash burning a hole in Barcelona's pocket, which led to hyperinflation across the entire transfer market. Desperate to replace Neymar's contributions on the pitch with this mountain of cash, Barcelona's first mistake was to splash 105 million euros on Ousmane Dembele. In his injury-plagued five years at the club, Dembele has failed to score 10 goals in one season. Disappointed by Dembele's start to life at the Camp Nou, and also looking for a long-term replacement for Andres Iniesta, Barca then spent an even bigger fee on Felipe Coutinho, paying Liverpool £120 million for him in January 2018. That money allowed Liverpool to sign Virgil van Dijk and Alisson, the final pieces in their jigsaw, and that saw them win their first ever Premier League title and their sixth Champions League. So within just six months, Neymar's entire fee was gone. Barca had splashed it on two players, both of whom failed to replace what he did on the field and went on to cripple the club's accounts for years to come. Now, with both Dembele and Coutinho supposedly worth over 100 million, every other decent attacker's market value inflated by a huge margin. You only have to look at the drastic shift in fees between 2017 and 2021. After Neymar and Dembele, the most expensive signings in 2017 were Lukaku at 75 million, Morata at 58, and Diego Costa for a very misguided 57 million. Two years later, João Felix joined Atletico Madrid for 113 million after just one 20 goal season at Benfica. Still trying to replace Neymar, Barcelona wasted another 120 million on Antoine Griezmann, Eden Hazard cost Real Madrid 88, Harry Maguire moved for 80, Nicola Pepe 72. You get the picture. And two years after that, Jack Grealish moved for 100 million, while Spurs were turning down anything under 150 for Harry Kane. But just because selling clubs started demanding more money for their players, it doesn't mean the buying clubs suddenly had more funds to sign them, which has created another knock-on effect, a huge increase in free transfers. As more and more players were denied moves because their teams were demanding too high a fee for them, these players caught on to this phenomenon and found a simple solution to run down their contracts. In recent seasons, we've seen Man United lose Pogba on a free for the second time, Antonio Rudiger and David Alaba both joined Real Madrid for no fee, PSG lost both Thiago Silva and Edinson Cavani for nothing in the same summer, not to mention the biggest one of all, caused by Barcelona's own financial recklessness, Lionel Messi having to leave the club and join PSG of all teams. And now, if reports are to be believed, PSG want to get rid of Neymar. Good luck finding a club who can afford him.